This airplane has the look of a toy, but it's real and ingenious. Nicknamed the Pregnant Guppy, it's wide enough to carry space hardware and comes apart to get that hardware in and out. First, the stages of a rocket. They'll have to put it together like building blocks. Then, a Gemini capsule. Everything looks right out of a kid's toy box. But this is full scale. Exceptionally complex, uncommonly expensive. And Gus Grissom is about to make it really fly. Grissom joins rookie John Young as America's first two-person crew for the maiden voyage of Project Gemini. Four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Gemini 3 pierces into the sky, flying straight and true. The power of flight uh, was very smooth, smoother than, than uh, we had any reason to expect, and there isn't a jiggle or a bump in it in the whole first stage flight. I have uh, your backup times on uh, bank angles and time to reverse bank angles. Astronaut Gordon Cooper, one of Grissom's best friends, guides them around the globe. Hello there. Then they land 52 miles off target. 50 miles from the spot near By the time the Navy finds them, they've been pitching in deep swells for 30 minutes, okay. costing Grissom his uh, breakfast. Recovery. Go ahead. Uh, monitor. We have both Astros and Elo at this time returning to the carrier. Roger. All well. The capsule shows the scars of re-entry, but passes the flight test. It's airworthy and airtight. Few know that on the next Gemini flight, they'll open the hatch on purpose in space. It was actually a kind of secret effort, and the rest is one of the most extraordinary episodes in the whole history of NASA. 